Okay, okay, I know. It's Man United again. And no, I don't enjoy this. I'm a Villa fan. You think I want to talk about Man United every week? But there's an elephant in the room that needs to be addressed. Pardon my Mancunian, but what in the actual f was that 90 minute slow motion car crash at Old Trafford on Saturday? And how long will it take before the Man United board sack Ollie Gunnar Solchar and install Cristiano Ronaldo as technical director, player manager, captain, player recruitment lead, and head of social media marketing? We thought it was a phase. We thought it would pass. We thought Ollie had learned from his mistakes. In fact, we called him out on this back in August. What's confusing here, Ole? It's right in the name. Player. Noun. From the verb to play. It's like Ollie has some kind of wine cellar approach to player management. Buy exceptional, highly prized vintage pieces. Not to sample, but to store. Go down and look at them from time to time, yes. Pick them up and hold them tenderly in your hands, of course. Think about them fondly when you're driving home from work. But open them? Actually uncork these beauties and let the goodness flow? No, 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 no. That won't do at all. So on Saturday, Ollie opted to keep his best wine tightly corked on the bench and instead served up an on-field buffet of the cheapest bulk buy vino. Anthony Marshall and Fred showed themselves yet again to be the living embodiments of wine in a box. And between them, they literally pissed away any chance of United winning the game against Everton. Yes, Marshall finally scored a goal after nine long months, but his shot was deflected past the keeper after he'd already missed what was pretty much an open goal earlier in the first half. And in the build-up to Andros Townsend's equalizing goal, Fred gave Damari Gray so much freedom, he may as well have handed over his house keys and wallet as well. And all the while, who's on the bench watching this? Cristiano Ronaldo! You hear that, Ollie? Cristiano Ronaldo! 32 trophies. Best goal to game ratio in La Liga history. 790 career goals. 320 goals in 356 matches. Since turning 30! Now, winless in three EPL games with the fans already restless and unhappy, and facing a plucky side with a master tactician at the helm, this was a must win game for Man United. So you can only imagine the deafening silence in the team meeting when Ali announced his master stroke. Hmm, who should lead the line against Everton? A superhuman goal machine single-handedly redefining the modern game? Nope, give me Anthony T-shirt and gloves Marshall. A fourth choice nearly ran with one goal and assist for France since 2016. Don't even get me started on the 4-2-3-1 formation that showcases all of the team's failings and sounds like a drunk guy counting. And also don't get me started on Bruno Fernandes, who's fast becoming the ultimate luxury player, ghosting entire games and offering nothing in defense. But one thing is simple, Ollie, and you have to get this. Play Ronaldo, because the clock is ticking hard, dude. CR7 is back in the theater of dreams. That means you're not allowed to draw with Everton anymore. And as painful as it is for me to say, you can't lose to Aston Villa. And there are obvious jokes to be made about a whooping from young boys, but I won't make them. The one thing that's certain is this. Cristiano Ronaldo might be the only person in the Man United dressing room who understands what winning really means. You can't store the best wine in the cellar anymore, Ollie, so please uncork it now while you still can.